welcome back TEDx. Welcome back to the space. <laughs> welcome to the people in the foyer as well. There's a whole another festival going out there and they've got a bar. And uh, I'd like to firstly apologize to all the scientists. No, I haven't discovered a time portal. I'm gonna let you down straight away. My name is Ben Walsh, I'm a drummer. And uh, this little drum contraption I'm about to play for you, you could try to look this up online and you wouldn't find any explanation at all. So I decided I'd like to just talk to you for a second about how I got to this point of time. Um, basically about 35 years ago, I was born in a little, little town in the central coast of New South Wales called Gosford. Isn't very synonymous with drumming at all. And uh, <laughs> before I could talk, I had the urge to, to drum, to hit things. My parents heard a huge crash in the kitchen one day and they came down, oh no, what's happened? There I was with pots and pans, banging them together, stole a couple of cake tins, took them upstairs, wouldn't give them back. Primary school, show and tell was the drum kit. High school was all the bands, touring around in illegal bars with pub bands like No Worries and things like this. And yeah, high school, same, university, now I'm a drummer. And, uh, and that's what I've always been. I can never think of a day where I haven't accepted the fact that I'm a, an artist, a, a musician. Just recently, I was in WOMAD, which is a fantastic festival, and I was on stage with some phenomenal uh, musicians and drummers from all over the world. And I was confronted by one of them. He took me aside and he said, what are you doing here? And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you're a young white Australian drummer. What do you have culturally to bring to the table? What can you offer? Ooh, it kind of shocked me. I was a bit hurt, but I'm really glad it happened because it culminated in me kind of searching. Being an artist in Australia at this time is quite, uh, quite difficult, especially a musician. When we think about what can we really add to, you know, the, the why of wanting to be an artist is there, but the how, what can we truly add? What can we do in this day and age that hasn't been done? How can we communicate? And so I started to <laughs> slowly evolve this kind of concept. It's one of the things I do. And um, I, I've always built things out of junk. And you can see this, this is not a traditional thing I'm about to do here, by any sense of the word. These drums are made of rubbish, but I'm giving them another fantastic purpose right about now. And uh, taking the waste and taking a whole bunch of techniques. And in that void, that, I guess, cultural void <laughs> where I existed, um, uh, I discovered some fantastic techniques and through my, I am a sponge for music. I love any type of big drum, little drum, whatever instrument, I love it. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm not against tradition by any means. But I discovered some interesting techniques, this multi-directional drum form that I've now taken from the humble streets of Newtown and Marrickville from the reverse garbage where I bought these barrels all the way to Broadway, all over the world. I've been touring this for five years, people, and I'm so excited to play it for you today. And thank you. <laughs> and hey, I'm not, this is not a big self-inflated moment. No, I'd like to dedicate this right about now to all the people with a small idea in a big city that seems too difficult or a big idea in a small country town that you think, what am I thinking about? Just go for it. Dive into the deep end, people, into that creative pool, explore the void, <laughs> enjoy the void. And, um, like I said, I'm not against tradition, so I'd like to leave this little speech and play this for you now, but I'd like to leave with this. All tradition is sacred and totally deserves our respect, but how can a tradition form, how can it be passed on without the spirit of invention and exploration? Thank you. <laughs> 